Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chandra and today I will be talking about Andre Walker and his impact on the natural hair community. Before I get started, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel. Yes, you. You right there. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more videos. The Andre Walker hair typing system is one of the most popular hair typing systems. Andre Walker is an American who was born in Chicago, Illinois. He created this hair typing system to promote a range of hair care products that he created. Andre Walker is Oprah's hairstylist. During the 90s, he was on the Oprah Winfrey show introducing both his hair typing system and his hair care products. Throughout the years, his hair classification chart became widely used in the natural hair community for naturals to determine what type of hair they had. Once a natural was able to determine what type of hair they had, they were then able to style, create hair regimens, and buy products that were suitable for their hair type. The Andre Walker hair typing system groups hair into four different types. Type one for straight hair, type two for wavy hair, type three for curly hair, and type four for kinky hair. Each hair type is then classified further by a letter, type 1A, 1B, and 1C, fine and fragile to coarse and thin, type 2A, 2B, and 2C, fine and thin to coarse and frizzy, types 3A and 3B, loose curls to corkscrew curls, types 4A and 4B, tight coils to Z-angled coils. Andre Walker and his hair typing system came under scrutiny because of its hierarchy, which places straight hair in first as type one and kinky hair, which is synonymous with black naturals, last as type four. Andre Walker was quoted as saying, I always recommend embracing your natural texture. Kinky hair can have limited styling options. That's the only hair type I suggest altering with professional relaxing. This statement was not well received by the natural hair community. As a natural with type four hair, I strongly disagree with his comment. Andre Walker also followed up his statement by saying, it is a fact that kinky hair, my type four definition, is extremely fragile and breaks easily. Even when you are very careful, something as simple as combing can break this texture. It is very difficult to achieve a longer length when the hair breaks, even with simple combing. That being said, there is the style option of wearing braids, dreads, or twists, which allows the hair to grow longer because it's combed less often. Another style choice is to simply wear a shorter cut which is very attractive on some women, but just not right for others. So when I say to embrace your natural texture, but consider relaxing kinky hair, am I contradicting myself? I don't think so. You see, even relaxed hair can be worn naturally. If you want a natural look, but find that your kinky hair is difficult to manage, breaks too easily, lacks shine and luster, and limits your preferred styling options, I say feel free to consider a mild chemical relaxer, sometimes called a texturizer, that eases your hair to a more manageable texture and allows you to make peace with your hair. I also disagree with Andre Walker's follow-up statement because once you relax or texturize your hair, you are no longer considered natural. Being natural means that you are not altering your hair by using any chemical treatments. This was a complete contradiction. Andre Walker's statement highlight issues that have plagued the type 4 natural hair community since the days of slavery when black people were judged and pitted against each other based on their physical appearance. Slave owners often showed preference and leniency to blacks whose appearance resembled their own, meaning lighter skin, eyes, and less kinky hair. To date, this mentality has been encouraged in the media by glorifying type three hair and enforcing the challenges that arise for those who have type four C hair. Though type four C hair is not in the Andre Walker hair typing system, the natural hair community came to the realization of the diversity 
of types three and four hair and decided to add three C and four C hair types to the hair chart. I am confused as to why Andre Walker thought it necessary to have a 1C and 2C hair classification, but didn't see the need for a 3C and 4C hair classification. Andre Walker provided us with a tool to help determine our hair type, which was a solution to many problems, but he was unable to see that we also needed words of empowerment to help embrace our hair and put an end to damaging misconceptions. To embrace our hair is to embrace ourselves. Knowledge about our hair has been brought has brought us to where we are today. Going natural is not as intimidating as it once was. Today you can see many naturals with type 4 hair who have chosen to embrace their natural hair. Though this is no surprise to me, you can also see how naturals with type 4C hair, which is considered to be fragile, have conquered various misconceptions with long hair flowing down their backs. This concludes today's video. Thanks for watching.